Okay, let's get retro. First, all you do is make a copy of the background, and for this one, I'm going to select the red layer in channels, and we'll go Control A for all, Control C to copy. I'm going to go back to layers and go Control V, and this is kind of like auto dodging and burning. I'm going to go to hard light, and that looks awful, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to back it down to about 20, between 20 and 25 percent, just to give a little bit of extra contrast, because what we're about to do later will kill the contrast pretty well. So what I'm going to do is go to curves, and all you have to do is go through each one, um, R, GB, and then if you want you can go through uh, the RGB itself, and all you have to do is take these and drag it up and down. And just that there is, um, is the first good step, and you can actually tweak it through here if you want to give it a little bit of green, and you can always go through here. And each picture is going to be quite a bit different depending on how it was shot. Um, we're going to add some blue because I think red and blue is really what gives uh, that retro look. And the left side is uh, more of the shadows, and the right side is more of the, the rest of the image itself. So we can go through, and that's pretty good about right there. Then we blew up a little bit more. And that's all you gotta do for colors. Um, you can go through and do green, but for this image I've already tried it and it didn't, I didn't uh, feel like I needed to do much with the greens. Plus I'm colorblind, so I can't see reds and greens very well. Uh, so then the next thing I would do is go to layer, flatten the image, and then when I go to uh, lens correction, and over here on custom, you can go to the vignette, and the easiest way to vignette is just right here, and you can make it really hard, like this, and you can go anywhere back through there. Um, I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. So I just want a slight vignette. And uh, that's about it. So now you can start leaving comments and tell me I have a creepy voice and I'm a pervert. And you can use some bad language. Alright, have a good one.